In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a women's holiday gift guide for 2019. So I shared one of these on my channel last year and I had so much fun doing it and I still feel like a lot of that content that I shared last year is still super relevant. But this year I've added a few more items and a few more experiences. Something I've recently learned about myself is that I personally love to receive gifts and forms of experiences. I'd much rather experience something than receive a physical item and that is just how I work. I know not everybody's like that. Some people like physical items. So I've kind of hit both of those ideas in today's video, but I think I really narrowed it down to some really, really good gift ideas for women this year. I'm going to be sharing 20 plus uh, gift ideas for women. Um, some of these items are kind of expensive. Some of these are totally, you know, easy to uh, get last minute, affordable, 20 bucks or less, that kind of stuff. So um, I'll have quite the price range. And of course, I will have everything linked down below for easy access. So if you have to shop for a woman this holiday season, I hope this video was extremely helpful for you. And if you have anybody you want to share this video with, make sure to hit the share button down below. You can click that, you can copy the link and you can text it or email it to anybody you need to as well. And as always, if you guys enjoy these holiday gift guide videos that I do every single year, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more. And if you're new here, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. I actually have a toddler gift guide video coming out and possibly a men's gift guide and then also a stocking stuffers idea. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump on into the holiday women's gift guide of 2019. Okay, so the very first item I'm going to share with you is a brand called Aura Frames. And I actually have partnered with them for today's video. You guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna be gifting away three of these in today's video, which I'll explain here in a second, but let me just kind of explain what our frames are. So this right here is the newest item by Aura Frames. This is the analog frame. And I personally love this frame as a gift and just to personally have in my home because it takes traditional photos, printable photos, it takes traditional photos and turns them into something more modernized and um, convenient for today, in my opinion. It's a subscription-based service. You pay for a subscription and every single month you're able to pick out five photos from the app and select those photos and then they send you those photos to switch out in your Aura Frames. So every Aura Frame subscription is going to come with a free gift, and that free gift is the beautiful Aura analog frame itself. And then you're able to switch out your pictures. You can have this going horizontal, or you can also display it vertically, just like that. So really, whatever style of picture you have. There is also this large compartment back here where you can store additional photo prints as well that you get throughout the months. So the subscription for this is $7.99 a month, and you can sign up on their website. I'll have a link to them down below too. So the other really cool thing about the Aura analog frame is that they actually have have the ability for you to invite family members to actually share their own photos as well. So I love doing this because my family lives 2,000 miles away. They live in a different state. I don't get to see them that often. So I love the fact that I can actually connect with my family in that way as well. My mom gets on and she adds her photos and then I'm able to choose and print some of those off as well, which is really fun and special. But anyways, like I said, I am gonna be giving away three of these for the holiday season. So it's gonna be super simple to enter. I'll have a Gleam website set up down below. All you have to do is click that website and enter, super simple. You basically just have to make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Um, and then I will randomly be selecting through the generator three winners to receive the subscription. The winners will receive a year subscription of the R analog frame where they can have their five photos printed out every single month, plus they will get this frame right here. Okay, so the next item that I'm gonna share with you guys is also by Aura, and this is actually their OG frame. It's their digital frame, which is really, really cool as well. Um, I actually got my mom this for Mother's Day last year, which was the perfect Mother's Day gift, but this would also be the perfect Christmas gift as well, and I personally have one and love it also. So I have the Sawyer frame in my living room, and it is beautiful. Like I said, it's a digital frame. My mom is actually on my account, so she's able to add photos to this, so she's gone through and added photos of my family and like old photos and photos from when I was in high school and my sisters when they were little. So I have all of these special memories in this photo frame, which is awesome. I did not have access to these pictures before. So it's really cool she was able to add them and I can just frequently look over and see them and it just sparks a memory. It's connected to your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi, so you have to kind of know how to work those in order to use it. My friend actually got an R frame for her grandmother and her grandmother did not know how to use uh, the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and that kind of stuff. So that's where the um, 
the analog frame actually came to play and why this one was a better option for her. So even though it's super easy to use the digital frame, um, it just kind of depends on who you're gifting it for and their knowledge of technology. But both of those frames are so good and amazing gifts, especially for the holidays. Okay, so since I'm sharing physical items right now, I'm gonna go through and share all of the actual items that I have to show you guys. I have to share this stuff because it was on my holiday gift guide last year and it's still something I use every single day. And this would honestly be such a good gift to give anybody at any age. So it's my Yeti. I freaking love my Yeti. Um, I actually just recently got a new one a couple months ago because I lost my other one. But the Yetis are amazing. They help me drink water. They make my drinks stay super cold or super hot. So when you buy your Yeti, it comes with this lid right here. And um, you guys can see that. It's just like the slide open, slide to close. I never use this lid because I went out and purchased the straw lid. I mean, I would recommend this over anything. I feel like this makes drinking water, because that's really what I use this for is just water. This makes drinking water a lot easier. It comes with a straw and it comes with a lid. You do have to buy it separately, but it's worth every penny because I use it every single day. Um, you can also buy replacement straws on Amazon for super cheap. The other thing that I've recently got that I'm also loving is the Yeti coffee mug. So good, um, however, it's already starting to chip and this is new. Uh, I've only had this a couple months and it's like starting to chip around the edges. So I don't know if I got like a defective one or what, but even though it doesn't look 100%, it still like keeps my coffee hot for a long time. And I'm a toddler mom, so I never get to fully drink my hot coffee, but having this, I don't ever have to reheat it, which is nice. It stays hot for like a good hour. I believe this cup is priced at about $35. This um, lid, I think is around 20. And then I think the coffee mug is around 25. Okay, the next items that I'm gonna share with you guys is just something so simple. And that is just some fun pajamas, some cozy slippers. Like those are always the best gifts in my opinion. I love receiving these, I love giving these. I feel like you just can't go wrong. This one's kind of more of a summer pajama, but it's still super cute. My friend Brooke actually got this for me. Um, I think it's from Amazon, but it says good night. It's like this cute little cropped tank top. And then I love the little shorts because of the ruffle. So just a fun little pajama set. My friend Bailey got me these. Um, and they're just some really comfy leopard long pants. They're actually lightweight, which I like because I don't like sleeping in anything too hot. But these are from Target. And then I recently got these like thermal pajamas from Old Navy, which were a huge hit when I shared these on Instagram. So I think you guys really like these. I really like these. Um, but they're just thermal pajamas and they have a ton of different prints at Old Navy right now. Um, and then I have the matching like long john style pants. So super comfortable, great holiday gifts. And then I have my new slippers. I got these at Target. Um, I love these because they're so soft and they're also like a flip flop. They're just really comfortable and fuzzy and cozy and the perfect house shoe. All of this stuff was super inexpensive. I think these were under $20. This entire outfit was around 20. Um, I mean, a pair of pajama pants from Target is probably about 15, and then Amazon is pretty inexpensive too. So those are some good, really inexpensive gift options. Okay, so the next item I'm gonna share with you, just hear me out because a lot of people would be like, what? <laughs> it's a scale, it is a scale, and you gotta be careful who you're giving this to. You don't wanna offend anybody, obviously. The reason I wanna tell you guys about the scale by Fit Track is because it's so much more than a scale. I have been obsessed with this thing. I work out a lot, I love to track my progress. I love to track more than just my weight because I don't like tracking my weight. I like to track um, like my muscle and my body water and all that kind of stuff. That is how I track my progress um, with my workouts and my gym routine and that is why I love this scale because it tracks all of that for me. Everything is tracked through an app on my phone and it's really nice just to see um, progress in that way. I think this would be a great gift for a woman if she's into fitness or um, even a man. If you guys are seeing this, this might be a great gift for your husband or significant other as well. So the next item I'm going to share with you guys is something I recently just shared in my get ready with me video. If you want to see how this stuff works, I'm going to link that video down below. But this is my perfect eyes. This is an eye cream that will change your life. It's so good. So if you know a woman who like struggles with bags or wants to, you know, maybe wants to get Botox but is scared of actually committing to Botox or um, just wants to temporarily like smooth some wrinkles around her eyes, this is it. This stuff works amazing. Basically, it's just an eye cream you put on your eyes, you let it sit, it tightens everything up, removes your bags, removes the wrinkles. So the next items I'm gonna share are some jewelry and I know jewelry is kind of like a staple holiday gift in my opinion, but for me, I don't love like expensive, like I don't want diamonds, I don't want jewels and um, like 
thousands of dollars worth of jewelry. I just don't like that. I want good jewelry that is gonna last me, but it also doesn't cost a million dollars. Like that's just not who I am. I like meaningful stuff. The necklace I'm wearing right now is from a shop called With Love by Katie, and I will have her linked below too. But it's a bar necklace and it has um, my daughter's name on it. I love that. Like it's so simple and I love that. I also really like those necklaces that um, say, they have like the letters around them. They say um, mama or they have like your kid's name around it or something like that. I don't personally have one of those, but I would love to receive one. So I'll link a few of my favorites down below as well. Some other jewelry that I've recently got that I have to share because it's so beautiful um, is from Kendra Scott. They're a little bit more expensive um, than I would typically purchase myself, but the quality of Kendra Scott jewelry is so amazing. So if you wanted to splurge a little bit more, Kendra Scott is another really good option um, of jewelry. Look at these earrings. How crazy are those? But those are just some brands of jewelry that I would recommend. So the next item I'm gonna share are AirPods. Um, I recently bought these for myself as a, I don't know, divorce present? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm recently divorced, but I love these. I don't know why I didn't have these sooner. They actually just came out with a new AirPod too. This is the older version, which works just fine. They do get a little uncomfortable in my ears. I typically like the earphones that have like a squishy part on them. So that's the only downside to these, but I love how they're wireless, they're Apple. They sync up really fast to all of my Apple devices and um, AirPods have just been honestly like a game changing when it comes to editing and going to the gym. They're just like, they, they stay in so good. You put them in and they're automatically on too, which is kind of cool because I've had other wireless headphones and you have to like go to Bluetooth and make sure they're connected and. Um, these just automatically turn on because it's already synced up with your Apple devices. The next item could get a little bit expensive, but um, I would personally love to receive any kind of camera for Christmas. I'm hoping to actually get myself a new camera, but I have a couple cameras. I'm filming on my um, DSLR right now. It's a Canon uh, 80D. And then I also have my vlogging camera, which is a Canon G7X Mark II. I am, however, going to need to get a new camera. I've had this one forever and it's literally on the mins of breaking. It's actually broke a couple of times that I've brought it back to life. But a camera would be another great gift to give this holiday season, even if they don't know how to work a big DSLR camera, a point and shoot camera like this, the Canon G7X Mark II or the Mark III would be great for pictures. But you can never go wrong with a nice camera for Christmas, always a great gift. Same with like computers or um, a new phone. Honestly, a new phone would be great. Get a phone upgrade, those are expensive, but it's something that would be an awesome present or a gift to give. To. Okay, so I have a bunch of kitchen gadgets I wanna share with you guys, but I'm gonna do that last. The next thing I wanna start sharing with you guys is a list of gift ideas I have right here that are actually experiences. Like I said earlier on, in the video, I would much rather receive a gift as in the form of an experience than a physical item. Don't get me wrong, I love receiving a physical item as well, but that's not my love language. My love language is, um, I don't know what that falls under, but is actually experiencing something. So the first thing you could give um, for a woman or for your, you know, your grandma or something like that is gift them a photo session. Not only are you giving an awesome gift, but you're also supporting more than likely a um, hardworking entrepreneur. So I think that's awesome. But giving the gift of photos is so meaningful to women. At least it would be to me if somebody said, "Hey, I'm gifting you this beautiful photo session with um, you and your daughter." Like I would honestly, I would die. Like that's so sweet to me. If you're a guy watching this and you hate taking family photos and you go to your wife and you say, hey babe, I bought us this family photo session from this photographer you love and we're gonna do this for the holidays this year. I would honestly be in tears over that. Like that would get me so much, but I think that would just be so incredibly sweet and selfless and um, important in something you'd probably cherish forever. So I can't recommend a photo session enough. I feel like that would be such a great idea. If you guys are local in the Arizona area, I have a wonderful photographer. She's amazing. She's also one of my dear friends, so I'll link her below. So the next gift idea in form of experience would be something like a massage, a pedicure, a manicure, um, letting her get her hair done if she hasn't got her hair done forever, something like that. You have to know kind of the person and what they would want. Let's say, for example, your wife just had a baby and she hasn't done anything for herself or you know she works all the time and it's hard to do something for herself or she's always thinking of others or whatever. Giving her the gift to pamper herself would be, I think that would be amazing. You could totally make a big deal out of this too. Um, have her get her hair done in the morning and then treat her to lunch and then um, have her set up for a pedicure and a manicure that afternoon, whatever. Like that would be 
my ideal gift, honestly. I think I just think that would be such a fun gift to receive, but you do kind of have to know the person and what they like. If they don't like getting their nails done, obviously that wouldn't be a good gift for them. Okay, so the next gift idea, that would also be an experience, but also kind of a physical item. <laughs> Um, and that would be set them up with some kind of subscription service. I am a subscription service, like, I love it. I love it. Everything about subscription services, I think it's so fun. You could do something as simple as like an Ipsy bag, which is like $10 a month, um, or you could do something like a FabFitFun box, which they get quarterly, or um, like a wine subscription, which I'll link one of my favorite ones down below. If they have a sweet tooth, I have um, actually gifted this to my sister before, but it's through Candy Club. They're a subscription service and they send you different types of candy every single month or you can do like a one-time gift as well um, but things like that there's so many different types of subscription services out there like it's very trendy right now but it's also super fun okay this is my number one number one gift idea in my opinion this would be the best gift ever um, if you can financially afford this if it's something you can do get your woman this you can either do one of two things you can say Hey, I got you a gift. It's a surprise. We're leaving this day to this day and we're going on a surprise trip. Oh my God, if somebody did that to me, I would lose it. Like I would be so excited. That would be the best gift I've ever received. Um, if somebody just said, pack your bags, like we're going, I'd be like, okay, <laughs> let's do it. Or if you know the woman you're shopping for would hate you if you like did a surprise like that, if they wanna know. Um, another thing you could do is still book them a surprise trip um, or a surprise getaway or a weekend getaway or a day trip or something like that. Have it planned out and present that to them and say, hey, here's your Christmas gift. This is what we're doing. Um, we're going to Sedona for the weekend. That would be the best gift ever. So those are the gifts that I would give as an experience that I think would be such a good idea. Um, the next item I wanna share with you guys is something I don't physically have, but something I would love to have. Um, I came across this on the internet or something. It's called a Terranium Candle and they're so pretty. Um, I think they're around $25 and they are exactly what they say. They're a candle, but it looks like there's a geranium inside it and they're just beautiful. Really, really easy gift to give to like your best friend or a sister-in-law or something like that. Okay, so the next couple of items are all sitting down here, so I'm gonna have to grab them, but they are kitchen gadgets and I personally love kitchen gadgets. My Nespresso machine is actually sitting up in my kitchen. I'm not gonna grab it because it's plugged in and there's water in it, but <laughs> I am gonna leave a link for it down below because I get lots of questions on it. And if you're shopping for a coffee lover, a Nespresso is where it's at. I had a Keurig before. Nothing compares to an espresso. It's so easy, it's super fast. The pods are so delicious. It's so, like, they're, they're just so good. Everything's super creamy. I have the Nespresso Virtuo Plus and I've had it for I think maybe a year or two now and it still works great. Um, highly recommend it. This is an air fryer. This is by Bogota or Bogoti, Bago, I don't know. Um, I personally love air fryers. They are so easy. They like are effortless to cook. They make delicious food. But I love um, cooking like fresh potato chips or fresh french fries. Um, just cut up some sweet potatoes, throw them in here with a little bit of olive oil and it makes them really crispy and delicious. I personally love to cook fish in this too. Cooking fish in this makes the fish so delicious. Overall, this is just a really great way to get that fried food consistency without all of the, um, like the bad stuff, like the yucky oil and that kind of stuff. So it makes it a little bit healthier. It's not healthy by any means, but it definitely is a better option than actually deep frying food. Would I recommend this exact air fryer? Probably not. I don't love it. I did for a while, but this um, piece, like, I don't know, it's not really working the best anymore. So I'm having issues with it in that sense, which is kind of why I stopped using it. So I'm gonna link a um, good, like not this specific one, I'm gonna link a highly rated one that I would purchase if I was to get another one. Okay, so the next item I'm gonna share is my pressure cooker. Freaking love this thing. I love cooking soups and I cook a lot of soups in my pressure cooker. Um, I cook chicken in my pressure cooker. This is my favorite way to cook chicken. A pressure cooker is uh, basically what it says. It cooks with high volumes of pressure, but it also can act as a um, like a crock pot, so there's different settings. I have the Kasori pressure cooker, but I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Instapot. This is cheaper than the Instapot. The Kasori pressure cooker works so good. Highly recommend it, I'm sure. It works the same as the Instapot. I've never used the Instapot, so I can't compare, but this thing's great, and for the price, it's really good. Okay, so the next item I'm gonna share from the kitchen is my juicer. 
Love this juicer. I don't think it's available anymore though. I think it's sold out on Amazon and I have not seen it anywhere else. Um, so I'm gonna have to like something similar to this, but this is what mine looks like. I love having a juicer because I get on these juicing kits, which I haven't been for a while. But when I am, I love having the option to make juice. Okay, and then the final kitchen gadget I'm gonna share with you guys is my new blender. I actually just purchased this. Um, it's the Nutribullet in the champagne colors. I don't mind having this out on my cabinet because I like the color of it and it's not like boom in your face. And this cost me, I think, around $80, $90. Um, but I love having the personalized blender. It actually came with a bunch of other pieces, but um, this is just what I have right now. But you just put all your food in here stick it on your blender, push it down, and it blends up everything really good. Okay, that wraps up my gift guide for women for 2019 for the holidays. I hope this video helped out in any way, whether you're needing gift ideas to give your husband or your significant other for yourself, or whether you're needing to shop for a woman in your life. So I hope this video was helpful. If this video was helpful to you and you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I have more gift guide videos coming out on my channel. Make sure to share this video with anybody who needs some help deciding on what to get women in their life as well. Um, this could be super helpful. I will have a link down below to our frames where you guys can enter to win yourself an our frame subscription for an entire year so make sure you go enter that as well thanks again for watching and i will see you guys in my next one